another episode of Modded Skyrim, and today I'm going to be, hopefully, finishing Rhea's romance quest. Part of what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to help her get a kiss from a bard. That is what's happening. And, uh, before that, I have a few things to say. I have been working really, really hard to sell a bunch of my loot that I've had for quite some time. So that's good. It's all cleaned up. Uh, I still have a lot more to sell, unfortunately. But I have also done some leveling for enchanting and smithing. So if you look here in my smithing, I can now make a much wider degree of materials. And those materials I've used to make so far Maybe just one, one new outfit, and which is for yes. Viconia. But before I give it to her, uh, she has something to say. I've been watching you for a time as we travel. Okay, no. You have a pleasing look about you. Stop. I think. Stop that. The sword of musculature. <sighs> I've been watching you You're for a time as we that travel. Book. You have a pleasing look about you. I think. The sword of musculature that makes a woman swoon. You find me attractive? And what do you think of Viconia, hmm? Does my ebony glow spur lustful thoughts? Does my sharp beauty give you singular twinges of desire? You're the most exotic woman I know. That is good to know. Not that I would deign to lie with a dog such as you, lowly male. Uh, my character is male. Your eyes. My skin crawls from your attentions. My character isn't male. Whatever. Anyways, I have an outfit I want to give her. Yes, master. In what skimpy outfit will you have me wear this time? It's called Necrosin. Necrosin. Okay, equip. Idleness is the holiday of fools. Oh yeah, she looks good in that. They may want to get her different shoes, I don't know. Oh, that's how I get her to stop doing that idle. Let's look at her shoes. Yeah, they're nice, I guess. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders, now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. Yeah, Ham Hammerfell mercenaries. I really like that outfit on her. You can actually see the necklace I gave her as well. In I go. Oh, I'm not sure how lore friendly a cross is. I don't know, maybe it means something else. And I'll just leave it at that. Now I've stuck to you. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Lylan, the barrow is safe for you and Rhea to visit there now. Incredible. Well done, companion. Are you ready to accompany Rhea into the barrel? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, follow me. We'll go into the barrel. Lead on. <laughs> Talk to her in the barrel. All right, to the barrel I go. And I'm at the barrel. It's a shame that it doesn't have gender-specific dialogue. My character isn't male. This place. Yeah, it probably does reek of death. After all the Draugr we killed down here. All right, I need to speak to you. Still here. Remember, Rhea, you need to woo a kiss from this bard. Okay, got it. Here you are. My lady. Uh, it's really lovely to be with you. Really? I'm glad you find me pleasing. I'm so glad that we're here together. Nice to have something happy in the midst of all these dead people. Indeed. Oh, for God's so, sakes, Rhea. Are you interested in me? Oh, uh, yeah. 
Then perhaps your rewards should be my touch and my kiss. The oh, ancient Nords built some Thank remarkable you. crypts and temples. Only the brave there come here. You're a strong woman. You make me feel safe. I'm so happy you're interested. The barrel gives me wicked thoughts. I want you to make me your filthy she-hound whore. I'll be the good bitch for you. Okay. Lila Starson kissed Rhea with passion and ferocity, and Rhea was left wondering how a tomb could possibly inspire such feelings in a woman. Okay. Talk to Rhea about how she should handle the situation. Still here. Well, looks like you got your kiss. Yeah. But the bearer sure seems to put Linley in the mood, huh? It would seem so. She wants to do it here, in this Hall of the Dead. She must be going mad. Well, she could just be a kinky bard. That's true. Or she could be dealing with some trauma or painful experience. Okay. Well, if so, the situation must be pretty bad. How would you approach the problem? Teach me. You'd have to know her history to know what motivates her, what her motivations are. I see. This is a delicate matter. She seems so confused. Yes, you seem to have stumbled into an advanced wooing scenario. This is weird. I'm sorry, Harbinger. This is more than I can handle. You should talk to her. Maybe you can find out. Yeah, okay. You wield Asura Star? How, how can such a thing be possible? Actually, it's uh, the Black Star. I put people in it. Uh, hi, Linley. You want to talk? Sure. Rhea is hesitant about this. But I thought we were getting along so well. I'm sure you are, but perhaps you could share the reason you wanted to come here? I see. I... Uh... I understand. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. Good. So what is it about this barrow that gets you so hot and bothered? My brother died. He was a wonderful man. Oh, sorry to hear that. Things won't be the same without him. How did he die? He was murdered. It was my fault. I didn't keep my mouth shut. And now my brother's dead. So you blame yourself for your brother's death? Yes, I do. So you want to make love in a crypt because you're dealing with guilt and loss? No. It's because I'm the next target. He's hunting for me. He'll kill me. Okay. Who's hunting for you? I can't tell you more. I'm scared. Now I know who you are, and, and I know your business. So I tried offering a reward to clear this place. I see, and the reward you offered Rhea was your affection. Yes, it's all I have left to offer. Why did you want this old barrow cleared? I thought I could try to hide in here. That's clever. This old barrow would make for a good bolt hole. Indeed. That's my story. But wait, what made you think Rhea and I would even come in here? Come in here. I know she you. Smells lots of You're the harbinger here. of the companions. Heard about you and your honeyed words. What? No, I'm a victim of gossip. Again with this. Ha. This is fun. Don't fool me. Want me to be one of your lady friends? It's all just rumors and lies, I tell you. Believe me. This is funny. Really? Be honest. I'll do unnatural things, just for you. By the divines, okay, fine. But you're Rhea's and she'll decide. Fine. Your friend is so beautiful. Discuss with Rhea how to handle... Lai Lin. Lin Lee? I'm right behind you. 
Well, I guess you heard Line Lee's story. What are your thoughts? I'm... I'm not really sure. I don't want her to feel coerced. She appreciates you clearing this barrel for her. Does she seem co coerced to you? Hmm. I guess not. Do you want to be with her? Well, she's pretty. And I do like her well enough. I... I dote on her so much. Sounds like love to me. And you can make her feel safe and protected. Because I'm a companion? Yes. That, and because you're a hero. Thank you. Well, what are you waiting for? Kiss the girl and I'll be on my way. I think you should stay. Please. Will you join us? I think I can teach you a thing or two. Okay. So, Lin Lee, Starsung, and Rhea shared their pleasure and passion there among the ancient dead in the barrow. And strangely, it made them feel more alive because of it. Okay. Speak to her final time. Yes, final time. You're that one from the college. Heard about you. Yes, and I've spoken to you many times. Are you okay, Lindley? Words can't express my gratitude. I thank the both of you. I ought to get back to work, but thanks for clearing out the barrow. Well, you do provide your heroes with wonderful rewards, after all. It was my pleasure. We'll see each other again someday, I hope. Indeed we may. Of course, I sh I hope you'll avoid spreading rumors about this. Oh, of course. Ha. I'll see you. Okay. My beauty. Farewell. Oh, my dear. I'll miss you. I will aid you in times of need. You have but to ask. Well, I hope you'll come back around. A little extra protection never hurts. A pleasant journey, milady. Speak with Rhea about camping. That's one way of phrasing it. What can I do for you? What do you think about after all that, Rhea? I'm so happy. Everything turned out for the best. I think you're getting the hang of wooing. I think I'm getting the idea. Everybody wins, right? That's the best outcome. There will be difficult cases. Yes, I could use some help with that. Oh, for God's sakes. More Just help? more training? I thought you wanted me to take you camping. Ooh, a cozy little camp. Can't wait. You've done well, Shield Sister. Let's go where the scenery matches your beauty. This should be fun. I follow your lead, Harbinger. But first, there's some training you may need for camping. Oh? Then, teach me. As Rhea kissed the Harbinger, she came to understand that not everything the companions did required a sword. These lessons on wooing might serve her well indeed. But whatever would come, she knew that Lai Lin, Lin, Li, Lin Li, Starsung, and the Harbinger would always have a special place in her heart. Completed. Speak to Rhea about camping. And I'm done! Yes, my love? What do you need? Oh, I was hoping she would have unique dialogue. Of course. Anything you like. Alright. Now let's leave this barrow and never come back. Remember how I said I was never coming back here? Yeah, so much for that. Well, that was the end of that weird quest. It was pretty good, I guess. Now let's go adventuring! Let's kill some things. Ugh. I really need to set up multiple outfits for them. But like, I've already used all the outfits I want, so I need to go and find really rare materials just so they can wear multiple outfits. It's kind of weird when I say it like that. Anyways, what was I going to do next? Uh... Should I go and pick up Mirai? Should I start a new quest? I'm going to go pick up Mirai. May as well. <laughs> I 
I don't think I need my boots of blinding speed. You do not feel dirty. Yeah, okay. Loving the sky tonight. But uh ba 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 I'm loving it. Did somebody say night sky? Wonder who got that reference. I'm gonna eat and drink. No hard meat. Raw bear meat. That's what my character likes to eat. She also likes sweets. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. Uh oh. And there we go. Nah, I took some damage. Oh well. I should need be near the bridge that is dragon flavored. Ha, ah, there it is, the dragon flavored bridge. And somewhere around here should be Mirai. Hey Mirai, how you doing? Yeah? What are you doing out here? Didn't I tell you I wanted to be left alone? Did you think I meant to come annoy me some more? You looked like you needed to vent. Uh, you're so persistent. But that's what I like about you. This is all such a big mess. I thought coming here would help clear my mind. I have always liked visiting Dragon Bridge. It was one of the first places I got to see of Skyrim. I remember the first time my father took me out here. I was so excited. It was one of the first times I've ever gone so far outside my home. The majestic towering mountains, the crystal clear waters of the river below, the big fluffy clouds of the sky. Everything was beautiful. I never wanted to leave, but this was also the same time I started realizing something was different about me and how I was treated. I saw all these other kids having fun, playing with each other, running around with their dogs or whatever without a care in the world. My life was never like that. I was always forced to stay inside with only my mother to keep me company. I never really questioned it until then. If I ever got a chance to go outside, it was under close supervision. Did he ever mention why? When I asked my father that day, why I wasn't allowed to play like those kids? He answered so brazenly that I was special and that the outside world was too dangerous for a girl like me. It made me so mad. I didn't want to be different or special. I just wanted to have fun as a normal kid. <sighs> but no matter how much I protested, that was the end of it. I couldn't argue with him. I had no idea what he meant then, and I still don't today. Why am I different? But now, now I have a chance to find some answers. I want to know what's in that book. I need to know what he's been grooming me my entire life for. I want to know why I'm different. Are you sure you want to know? Yes. I can't just sit around here and do nothing. I need answers. If I'm going to find out what this was all for, I need to do this. I know what my mother said, but I just... Uh, I can't let her do everything for me on her own. I need to confront him myself. I'm sorry you got involved in all of this, but it's your own fault. So take responsibility. Now that my father is after you too, you should come with me as well. You don't have to say it like that. I'll come with you. Don't get any dumb ideas. It's just easier this way. Uh -huh, sure. I believe you. <laughs> was that all? Yep, that was all. <laughs> Who was that? Rhea? What are you doing? What are you, an acrobat or something? Take a bath. Huh.
Do you like me less all of a sudden? Smile at her. Getting sentimental. Nope, that's not what I meant to click. I am beginning to tire of spending... Are you thinking of me? Do you desire me? It is too late. There's only two options. Take a bath. Do you like me less all of a sudden? Huh. Very well. Is there a bed around here? I'm super tired. And by super, I of course mean moderately. What else would I mean? Well, I think now is a great time to break into a temple. That my character worships. What's that pony doing here? Have some later? Want to go somewhere? Huh. Take care of yourself. Oh, so where do we start? Eh, I'll just click that some other time. Ah, I have a temple to break into. Excuse me, but do you know any- Sorry, I'm not doing that right now. I've got enough quests on my plate. <laughs> it's Telos. I was surprised they didn't tear that place up. I mean, that doesn't make a lot of sense, right? I see Thalmor in the city all the time. Temple of Dabella. Senna? I'm sorry. The Temple of Dibella is closed. You can How are you doing? What do you need, love? Ask any. Hmm. Always a pleasure. I was hoping she had unique dialogue. But she has said words in parentheses. Says the blessings wear off over time. You hear all this talk I have a feeling before. they do. I hope ever comes here. <laughs> All right. What are you doing in here? I don't know. Stay where you are. The mother will deal with you. Okay. This land here she is. Tough and unforgiving, but beautiful too. And just what do you think you're doing? Breaking into a temple? Unfortunately for you, we don't allow the uninitiated into the inner sanctum. You have How committed do I get initiated? and must pay the penalty. What is the penalty? Normally, a period of servitude. Luckily for you, there are more pressing matters. We could make an example of you, but perhaps you could be put to better use. What use is that? The ceremony you so rudely interrupted was the exalted protocol of the Debellan Sibyl. I don't expect you to know what that means. Suffice to say that our Sybil was recently lost to us. Through the protocol, we have seen the home of the next Sybil, to the north in a small village pressed against the stone. If you can travel there and retrieve our young Sybil, your transgression will be forgiven. All right, I'll do that. We believe the place in our vision to be Karth Waston. Now move quickly. The girl must be brought to the temple as soon as possible. All right then. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. All right. So now I think I've uh, stayed in character long enough. Uh, what the reason I'm doing this is um, if you do this quest, because of Whatever course, want, of course you, you have to kill a bunch of people to retrieve the civil. I mean, <laughs> did you suspect otherwise? Anyways, um, after you kill all those people, you get a blessing of Dabella that um, 
allows you to deal a certain amount of extra damage. Wait, was it 50% extra damage? I don't know, that might be pushing it. I don't know, some extra percent of damage. Was it double? I don't know. But anyways, a bunch of extra damage against the opposite sex. So if you're playing a female character, that's more than half the characters in the game, oddly enough. You'd think it'd be half, but no, it's more than half. Anyways. Where's the Sybil? Not far off from here, apparently. And this way. Yeah, thirsty. Oh, 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 I need to put on the proper amulet. There we go. over there without dying Make a quick save oh I know <laughs> Duh. that is not what I meant to click <laughs> this is not what I meant to click okay that is not what I meant to click okay let's try that again Fine. there we go Oh, cultists! Damn it! Being ethereal doesn't protect me from the cold water. Okay, let's get that hag staff. And the unrelenting force. Okay, so I'm surrounded by cultists. And my followers are nowhere near me. Yeah. They're strong. I rely on my followers. I am running. Okay, I can't run up that cliff. Okay, let me just run in this direction. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Oh dear god. Oh why? This is just terrible. That's what this is. Stay back! Back, I say. Yeah, they're gonna run right through that flame. Like, it's nothing. And it is nothing now, isn't it? There's a person on a horse over there! I must have it. Imperial soldier. Noble. I have nothing to say to you. Now move along. Or I'll order my guard to attack. I'll take my leave then. Hmm. One guard, eh? Help! Someone's being attacked! Oh crap. I did not think that through. I'm totally going to die against this guy. This should be good. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Today, I finished Rhea's romance quest. And I think I'm going to... Oh, would you look at that? It crashed. But I'm going to take a break from uh, Immerse Adventures for a while. And I'm going to do some minor quests with cool rewards. That's it for today, everyone. Bye.